Hey guys, Hugo Leveille here and welcome to Nukes Tips and Tricks Volume 2. So in this second series, we're going to take a look at other various tricks that you can use inside Nuke. So for example, in class number one, we're going to take a look at lens distortion when doing camera tracking as well as 3D projection. So we'll see how to correctly fix the lens distortion and how you can also use the overscan portion of your image when doing 3D camera projection. So in volume one, we saw the importance of 2D concatenation, but we'll see how this principle also apply in the 3D system of Nuke. Then we'll see how to use the merge map node to do multiple projection on a single geometry to avoid multiple scanline render and to get the best projection that you can uh, on a single geometry. Then we'll take a look at the FFT node of Nuke, which lets us split our image in multiple frequencies and then how we can fix problematic image by just extracting and fixing those problematic frequencies while keeping all the important detail of our image. Then we'll see how to use the curve tool to match and stabilize flickering color version in your plate. Then we'll see other quick tips like how to fix the position of the pivot of a 3D geometry that is in the wrong place. And we'll also see a color space trick that you can use to get a better result when doing some uh, transform filtering that is introducing some very weird color in your transform. Then we'll take a look on how to do 3D rotoscoping inside of Nuke. So I'll be showing you the traditional uh, 3D projection technique, but I'll also show you my preferred way, which is to do a stabilized version of your plate and roto on top of that and then reproject this rotoscope on the original plate. And then we'll see a color space trick to fix badly interpreted green node color space and how to avoid to do various color correction to fix this problem. So I really hope to see you in this training.